healed me, God redeemed me, and he restored my marriage. And it's unbelievable because it's I'm still going through it and it still blows my mind. I grew up on the reservation. The reservation you're introduced to drugs and crime and just everything and anything so early on at an early age. Drinking, being drunk, you know, being around drunks was just a normal thing. My uncle ended up getting in an altercation with his girlfriend at the time. He ended up pulling out a shotgun. The gun went off and it actually ended up killing our cousin, uh, my cousin Dustin. Um, this was a really, 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 really weird, sad, tragic time in our family that just absolutely split my family in half. Got a job offer to go work at X and Strike to go paint lines on the road, make a ton of money. I slid my butt up and my feet were on her bumper when she hit the back of the truck. I went flying into the cones, messed up my back really bad. Um, had to get multiple surgeries. This was just the start of everything. They gave me um, oxycodones, oxycontins, and then they gave me morphine. I really, really, really got bad when they gave me the morphine. There's no other equivalent to morphine other than heroin, basically. I was ready to do it, and my phone, I didn't talk to her for like two, three days, and my phone rang, and it was her. She, she was calling me, she left a message, she wanted to know where I was over and over and over again i prayed for god to keep showing me something and he did he did answer it because laura called me that day but i didn't want to see it it's so easy to blame god for stuff that goes wrong yet i never could acknowledge and appreciate him for when things did go right i walked out i was walking into the back alleyway and Patrick, a friend of mine, drove by, you know, he's like, dude, he's like, you got to get, you, you got to get down on your hands and knees and give yourself to Christ. He's like, give yourself to God. You got to give yourself up. He's like, you got to surrender 100%. He's like, there's no in between. You got to do it 100%. He was like, yeah. He's like, you know what? Come, come to church with me tonight. And it was Vanguard. It was open, open worship, open heavens. So I'm like, you know, what? I ain't got nothing to do. I was like, yeah, I'll go. We ended up going in. We walk in, and I don't even know how to explain it. It was just like, I was just floored, because I was just like, come on, what did I get myself into? And uh, they ended up, ended up interrupting the music, and Brandy was like, I got to release a prophetic word for someone. She's like, Do you, are you an engineer of any type? Do you work and build things? I said, yeah, I actually owned my own business for building motorcycles. I said, I'm a mechanic. I know how to work on everything. I can fix everything. Patrick didn't even know that about me. So now I'm thinking, okay, well, that was a good guess, you know, good guess for that. And she said, well, you know, there's things God's telling me right now too about that he has a plan for you and your wife, that it's not over, that you guys are gonna keep moving forward. Now I'm getting butterflies in my stomach. I can feel it in my throat. You know, my eyes start watering up because now I'm like, how did she even know this? And she said that God's going to restore you. He, I'm highly favored. He's going to place a seal on you and really give you what you need to go and move forward with your family and life as a whole. So now I'm bawling. I'm crying. I, it's just like absolutely hit me right in the face. Just face full of Jesus right there. I was just like, when? I called every rehab place, everywhere, everywhere. They were all full. They're either full or months wait. Patrick ended up picking us up for church and it was down at Fort Niagara. And it was, this was the first time I was going with them and it was Brandy and James's church. I just had that, I just kept getting that presence of like, okay, God's telling me I'm where I need to be. She's like, I want to tell you that God's telling me you don't need rehab, you need God. 
that absolutely floored me because that was like that right there was that was it that was it ever since then i just been on an uphill uphill and not even it was a rocket i just been skyrocketing up it's just been getting better and better every day from that day on my life transitioned i that day i was recreated from head to toe recreated I'm so confident in looking forward to what God has laid out for us for the future. It's just amazing of how much he has done in just surrendering myself.